Has this ever happened to you? You decide to learn something new and get excited. You go online and search for the roadmap on the topic. You create the list of the courses you want to do. You buy a bunch of courses and start learning but never able to finish it. Even if you want, you can't finish it. If this ever happened to you, then this particular video is for you. I have done so many different courses from Coursera and Udemy and I have managed to complete them. I also have Udemy account where I bought so many different courses but never started it. Why we are so motivated at the start but as the things progresses, we lose interest. Why does this happen? Either we completely give up or move to some different course. In this particular video, I will give you the detailed understanding of this particular problem and by the end of this particular video, you will have much better clarity on how to finish courses that you start. Alright, so without wasting time, let's get started. So we understood the typical life cycle of doing a course. You want to learn something, let's say programming. You find resources or courses online, doing research. You buy the course, you start doing it, you give up learning in halfway, then again you buy some other courses and keep repeating this pattern again and again. There are so many different problems to be addressed and questions to be asked. So the first 4 steps are pretty easy to execute. Finding, buying and starting the course is pretty easy. The main problem here is completing the course. So first we will start by understanding the problem we face. Because once you understand the problem, then it is much easier to solve them. So consider you already bought the course and started doing it. Now why did you give up? Number one reason is things get hard. When you start the course, things are pretty easy, right? Most of the courses start with the basic and then move to the advanced level. This is how the general learning begins. So doing basic things are pretty easy. You understand everything and feel like you are learning. But as you move forward, things get hard. You learn more advanced things. You will have to spend more time understanding that particular topic. You will have to read extra blogs, watch more videos and do hands-on practice to understand those advanced topics. And this is when the things get difficult and you are more likely to give up. Second reason is you get distracted. In the world where we are surrounded by different technologies, it becomes very difficult to stay focused. We do these online courses either on laptop or mobile phones. And while learning, if some notification pops up or if you have some extra tabs open on your browser, then you are more likely to get distracted easily. You are doing a course, you open some tab because you are bored and you start watching some random videos online and forget about the courses you are doing. Third reason is there are so many different options. While choosing a course, you get so many different options. Let's say if you want to learn about data structures and algorithm, then you will find there are more than 100 courses available in the market and it becomes difficult to choose the right course. So you pick up one course and start doing it. But as the learning gets difficult, you give up on that particular course and jump to some other course because you think other courses might be easy. So you stop the current course, jump to new course, thinking the other course will be better and keep doing this process again and again. Fourth problem on the list is trying to do multiple courses together. This particular thing is very bad and I used to do this in my early career. Everyone wants to learn fast and everyone wants to learn as much as thing in short amount of time. So what we basically do is we buy a bunch of courses and try to complete them together. Our mind is not good at multitasking. So if you try to do multiple courses together then you will never finish. And the final reason is procrastination. We all procrastinate. I will start tomorrow. I have watched three videos today so I will continue with this particular course tomorrow and that tomorrow never comes. There are so many other reasons and the problems such as instructor is not good, the course content is not what you expected, you lost motivation and many more. So if you have been facing any of this problem or if you are facing any other problem then let me know in the comments. So now you understand what is the problem. So the next thing you have to do is make a list of problems that you are facing. So make the list of the problem you face and get aware of it because that will give you much more clarity. Get a pen or a paper or use any note taking app and write down all the problems you face while doing a course. So once you know what the problems are, then if you face them in the future, then it will become much more easier to deal with them. Now once you define your problems, then you need to figure out how your general day looks like. From the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, write down everything. Let's say you wake up at 8 am, then write down at the time you wake up, what are your job and college timing, what time you have lunch and all the different things. Write down from the start to end. Map out everything in the book or any note taking application. This particular exercise will give you much more visibility of how you spend your day. Now once you list down your ideal day, then you need to figure out what is the ideal time when no one can distract you. Generally, I prefer learning in the morning from 8 am to 11 am but it is completely based on your comfort. So if you like learning at the night time, then it is up to you. The reason we are doing this is to take 2 hours from your entire day to focus on learning. Nothing more, nothing less, just 2 hours from your entire day to completely focus on learning something new. We are going to call this 2 hours your flow time zone. Of Flow state, also known as being in the zone, is the mental state in which a person performing some activity 
is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus full involvement and enjoyment in the process of the activity we want to achieve the flow state the major problems are not outside it's inside your mental road blocks for this you need to commit the time of your day where you can eliminate all the distraction and focus on the flow state when i sit for writing youtube script or watch any video to learn something new I make sure that I remove all of my distraction and focus on that particular activity. Now this was all about preparing yourself and removing all of your mental blocks. Now let's start talking about the actual thing is execution. So let's consider you bought one course. Now how to finish it? Most of the time you will have total numbers of hours required to finish course. If you go on Udemy, you will find it here. Most of the website has this feature, but if you can't find it, then you can check length of different videos, sum it together and get the total number of hours required to complete that particular course. Let's say a particular course takes around 22 hours to finish. We will set extra 3 to 4 hours in case some part of the course takes extra time to understand. So now we have around 24 hours of material to go through. Every day we are going to commit 2 hours to learn something new now if you divide 24 by 2 then it roughly becomes 12 to 13 days so we got our deadline without deadline your goals are just dreams most of the people struggle with setting the deadline because they don't even know how much time it will take to complete that particular task but after this particular exercise you will have the rough idea how much time that one particular course is going to take now this is just a rough timeline you might finish the course early or you might finish it late but the important part here is you have the proper deadline set for that particular course. The reason we procrastinate or give up on one particular task because we always focus on the end result rather than focusing on the next step. If you want to climb a mountain and you just keep looking at the top of the mountain and think how I'm going to reach there and never take a step, you will never make any progress. But instead of focusing on the entire mountain, why don't you just focus on the next step? Taking one step is much more easier than thinking about taking steps. Same way watching one video is much more easier than thinking about watching 100 videos. So now we have the deadline and we also know what we want to do. What is the next step is actually execute the entire plan. So the first and most important thing to remember here is don't be in hurry. As I said don't focus on finishing as many as video in short time because you are watching videos to learn something you are not watching video to complete them. The goal is not to complete the video the goal is to learn something new. So when you are watching the video make sure you are fully focused on understanding just like you are doing it right now you are watching this particular video till here that means you are fully focused most of the people might have already give up watching this particular video but you did not do this so if you are still watching this particular video then let me know in the comments by writing i am focused on learning that way i will know that you watched this video till the end to understand all the things and you are serious about actually learning new things always remember this when you sit for learning something new that means you are investing in your Self. So remember 100% focus while learning something new. Here is the basic strategy that you can use. Number one strategy is if the course instructor has slow pace of speaking then you can watch videos on 1.5 or 2.0 based on your comfort. Second strategy is taking notes while learning. Most of the time we try to take notes while watching the video but that way you will lose focus and you will miss out some of the information. But what you really need to do is at the end of the each video try to recollect whatever has been taught and then write and take notes based on that. Don't take notes while watching the video. Try to take notes after you complete the lesson. This will also help you to revise things and understand it better. And lastly, things are going to be hard. Learning something new is not easy at the initial stage. And if you stay consistent, then it will become much more easier to pick up that topic and understand it. So in summary, everything starts with removing mental blocks. First, understand your problems and list them down. After that, understand your daily routine and find the fixed time where you can study and focus completely. Pick a course and see how much time it will take and set the deadline and start taking action every day. Think about this, every day if you take 2 hours then you will be in much better position next year. Again don't focus on the end goal, focus on just taking the next steps. And as always don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.